you're going to play, or I'm going to play, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. I haven't played this before, but um, I've seen some stuff on it. I expect to be terrible at it. So I don't expect this stream to go terribly long, because my plan is to go until I get too frustrated and want to quit. And when that happens, I'm going to quit. Um, so, for those of you who don't know anything about this game, you play this, this super cool dude in a pot. I don't know why he's in this pot. Uh, but he's got this rad hammer thing. Um, and you move around. You, oh, well, there's my first death. You, <laughs> you move around by use of this hammer. And it seems like the my buttons don't actually do anything. It's just totally the mouse movement. Which is cool, I guess. Um, you just, uh, you just gotta, like, uh, get over stuff to move along. Um, the guy who made this game, Bennett Foddy, made a game called Sexy Hiking, which is very similar in concept, but a much, it's a free game, you should look it up. I played through like one level of it and was like, yeah, this is not, not for me. Um, and it might turn out this game is not for me as well, but I had to give it a shot because, because I'm, oh God. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Oh, thanks. Thanks, dude. I will f I will feel free to go- oh, God, I did it again! <laughs> oh, boy. Um... And I- <laughs> I swear, I'm not sure at this point if my mouse sensitivity is too high or too low. <laughs> the movements are both very precise. And I, and I feel like not precise at all. Really? Do oh God! Jesus. Okay. Okay. All right. We can do this. Come on, come on, dude. There we go. Okay. Back on top of the tree. Whoa. Hey. I've made it farther. Okay. I, oh my gosh. Hey, there we go. Oh gosh, darn it. Okay. All right. Let's let's try a little like pool move. There we go. I love how I love the animations for how he moves his hammer though. He looks like he's fucking He looks like a like a I don't know, it makes me feel like like he's like a samurai or something, like wielding this sword, doing these. Alright. 
Thanks for coming with me on Carters. this trip. <clears throat> I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Thing, but... Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. Oh, thanks. I want... I definitely want you to save my mistakes. Alright, I want to push just a little bit, I think. Just a... No, not that much. And let's see if I can... No. Of course not. Okay. Ha... Oh god. Oh, okay. of course. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, oh boy. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, yeah. titled Sexy Hiking. Yeah, Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazzer, oh, a mysterious Czech designer, okay, who bad. was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games are rough assemblages of found objects. I, I thought Designers was... slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished mm. products. Okay. So I thought he did sexy hiking himself. He was just inspired by sexy hiking. My bad. Um. Oh, good lord. Dude has some amazing arm strength. I do not know how to get over that part. Oh, oh no. I think I'm glad that no one's watching my stream right now because this would probably be incredibly painful to watch. It's probably more painful to watch than it is to play. I'll, I'll tell you this from watching videos of people play this. Um, it, lo <laughs> it looks way easier than it is. <laughs> I'm just trying some new techniques. That or I'm already getting super frustrated. I'm honestly not sure how I feel. See the weird <laughs> see the weird thing is you kind of have to like like in sexy hiking, um you can kind of move the mouse, the cursor, the the I can, does he have a hammer in that too? I honestly, I played it not that long ago, but I can't really remember. Um, you can kind of move it wherever. Here, you kind of have to follow, um, like his like his movement abilities or whatever, like his physics to a certain extent. Like I can't just move it across his body here. I have to like swing it under or over. Um, what? So I think. <laughs> Man, getting over that ore is a real is a tricky one. Oh my god. I did not expect that. Um, but I think I can make that work. Heck yeah. Alright, I should be able to make this work too. Up and over. Now here's where I have not yet been able to... Oh god! <laughs> oh boy. Um, I, gotta, I gotta admit, I kind of already want to quit playing this game. <laughs> oh. shit you do works. It's... It feels so smooth. 
But most of the time, I'm just feeling like the biggest freaking dingus. Mm. Oh no! Uh. top of this. Now on top of the branch. Now I'm not just not sure how I'm going to get up this. Because if I try to kind of pull myself up it, I'm just going to push myself off, I believe. That's what's always happened before anyway. Yeah. At least I didn't you can hit the escape key if you need to change the mouse sensitivity. Thanks, buddy. Honestly, I think I'm okay with this sensitivity. I don't know, I could maybe do with it being slightly higher. Oh boy. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Oh. Let's just be taking totally the wrong approach here. Do I need to kind of like pogo up maybe, probably? From here? Let's give that a shot. Like this. Now! Oh god. Oh. Nope. Not like that. Or like that. Not like that either. <laughs> Whoop. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm not. I know I'm not saying much. I don't. I don't have much to say, except I know this game is intended to uh, make you feel frustrated, and boy, is it good at that. Um, as someone who frequently plays games on quite easy difficulty levels. Like, when they have difficulty levels? I have a feeling this game might not be for me. Oh my god! I made it farther than I have so far. That's a good feeling. And now I am just fucking terrified of... Of, of accidentally chucking myself back down to where I started. Oh boy. Okay. What am I going to do here? I seriously don't know what I'm going to do here. Guess In a certain that. way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, 
and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. Boy, In unfriendly, it, your task right. is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Oh my god. Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration. A real uh, he, he is, he is correct. That, that one hurt. That one hurt a lot. I'm glad I didn't go all the way back down, but... But now Oof. I have... Sorry about that. You are not sorry. I don't believe you. You... You wanted this to happen. You're a liar, Bennett Foddy. You're a dirty liar. Mm. <laughs> I'm starting to hate this place in the game. Really, really hate it. Like, I'd almost rather have accidentally chucked myself all the way back to the beginning, if that's possible. Because this little hole is just getting real old. Oh boy, okay. Nope. Heck no. I'll tell you this. I could already tell, like, if anyone gets good enough at this game to mm. fucking speed run it. Like, not with, like, glitches or whatever, if there are any. And I guess there's glitches in every game, right? But, like, actually to just go through it like with just amazing skill that would be fucking glorious to watch will never be me though I'm never gonna be that that person um let's see how the fuck did I do this before did I do it this way ah okay yes this spot is so annoying because I don't want to do something crazy and accidentally chuck myself way down. There we go. Mm. It's just so easy to accidentally wang yourself with much more force than you intend. Whoop. Okay, back to here. Which is about the farthest I've made it. Have I gotten on top of the, the next cliff up? I don't think I really have. The spot is a real freaking tricky one because doing like a pogo move here is like it has to send me at an angle like there's no way it can't mm. uh, oh heck yes Whew, okay making some progress making some progress I'm gonna try to reposition slightly Get myself right on top of that that barrel And then, I'm going to try one of these again. Mm. Oh. Ow, oh, dang it. Oh, God. Fudge. Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. <laughs> see? See? He's not sorry. He knows that's going to happen. Like, he has these lines triggered play when stuff like this happens, so it's like, he knows it. He wants it to happen. Mm. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm almost just more sad now than I am angry. I don't know why I keep trying to do that. I know that's not going to work. Like I know, I know, I know. I need to like pogo stick off of here. Um, 
but I need to get myself in the right position first. Delicate positioning is very difficult. Okay, let's try this. There we go. Okay. I'm getting better at getting over that little hump. Hey, there we go. I didn't even struggle on that one this time. Um. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Nope. Not that way. All right. This might be. Oh God. Like I said, it's so easy to just accidentally chuck yourself somewhere. There we go. All right. All right. That's kind of what I was looking for here. Whoa. Oh God! This thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. <laughs> Mary Pickford. Oh, shut up. I don't. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to just quit already. You know, I feel like... Here, here's what I'll tell you about this compared to Sexy Hiking. Which, as I said, I played a little bit. I think I managed to get through a level. Maybe two levels. Um, this game, so far, is better about making me feel like I'm making a little bit of progress. Like, incremental progress. I feel like, oh, I'm... I'm, oh, Jesus. So I'm talking about, like, slight readjustments are very difficult. Um, like, I'm like, oh, I made it just over this next hill. But then it's so easy to fall down way too far. And, I, and you know, clearly the, the level is designed that way, right? Like, it's designed that if you screw up, like, going forward is hard. And falling back is very easy. Um, you know, that's that's clearly very intentional. Um, and so, like, like I guess I kind of, I kind of admire that. Like, it's kind of a cool. Nope. Like, it's kind of a cool way to do things. I appreciate the design that's gone into it. Um, and like I said, I appreciate that I feel more like... Like I said, Sexy Hiking had, like, distinct levels. Oh my god. That was almost amazing. And then it was almost really fucking awful. Um... Sexy Hiking has distinct levels, and you can, like, see the whole level, and you can see, like, oh my god, this is nuts, how am I gonna do this? And, um... And so, like I said, I did a level, or maybe two, and then I got to a point where I saw the next level, and I was like, fuck no. Um, where's this game? No. <clears throat> this game, seeing just like, you know, the next hill, the next, the next Whoop. thing to try to get over. Oh. Um. Makes me feel more like, hey, I can do this. I can make progress. But then, but then when you fall and you fall back, oh, so far. It's just like, oh god. If you need to take a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Dude, I know. Shut up. And that and that's the other thing, right? It's like I feel like, well, I don't want to quit, you know, farther back than I've been able to successfully get. Right? But like when you've gotten to a new point, you don't wanna you don't wanna quit there. You gotta try to make it over the next hill. Um, 
So, like, at this point, I feel like, oh, if I was going to quit, I would quit, like, now, maybe. But I don't want to do that. I, <laughs> I want to try to get farther. I want to get over that that ledge with the barrels on it. Um... Okay. All right. I'm back, back here. Set myself down in this barrel, and then I'm gonna punch myself up off the barrel. Hey. And I'm not gonna flail it around like a. Anyway, when you lunatic. start sexy hiking. You're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree. A yeah, lot of people never got past it. Tree is you prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Yeah, sexy hiking is some mean, mean bullshit. I was like, I was like, oh, I can get past this tree. It took fucking forever to get past that goddamn tree. I don't think it's a coincidence. Well, I mean, obviously it's not a coincidence. Ah. He designed it this way. That <laughs> this is the point where he talks about that tree. This feels very much like that tree, and that I feel like... I don't know. I, f <laughs> I feel like... I feel like... One wrong move is just gonna fucking ruin everything. Oh. Okay, so this isn't really. This isn't a place to be for me right now. I'm gonna try doing a move like this. The oh, obstacles hey. in sexy hiking are freaking unyielding. Worked. And that makes the game uniquely frustrating. <sighs> but I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. Well, thank, thanks for not yielding to the impulse to make these any easier, I guess. But also, fuck you. Fuck you, Fadi. I hate you for making this. <laughs> No, I don't really. This this is kind of amazing. Even God damn it. <laughs> this is both amazing and terrible. And I don't know what how I feel about it. Alright. Maybe I can not go over to the right there at all. Maybe I can just go There we go. Heck yeah. But now I'm not really sure what to do. Can I get enough Okay, can I get enough? Height, just from like right here. Oh God, I remember seeing this place in one of the videos I watched. I watched, I believe it was a video on Polygon. Um, I'm trying to think who was playing it. I think it was, I think it was Pat and Russ. I don't remember who was actually playing it, but I think they were the two in the vi that were talking in the video. I and man, this when you're is... building a video game world, you're building with ideas. 
And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with, and in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world, not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Yeah, and boy, boy, I watched whichever one of them it was. I want to say Russ. I want to say that it was Russ that was actually at the controls of this game. Um, boy, I watched them struggle with this part for a while. And they, whichever one of them it was, was much, was doing so much better prior to this point than I was, so I can only imagine that this spot will be extra difficult for me compared to them. I have a feeling that this is going to be the point where I rage quit, but we will see. You've done this part before. You know it's possible. No! Just do what you did the first time. No, shut up! I haven't done this part before. What? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh. oh boy. No, no, that's not the right way at all. This is really painful. Oh. This is really very, very painful. Um, Alright, I'm going to try to get myself on top of this rock over here. <laughs> okay. Alright, come on, buddy. We can do this. You and me, pal. I just, I just want, right now, all I want to do is set you on top of this rock. Starting to, I'm starting to get frustrated and flail around because I'm frustrated. That was cool, though. It was kind of what I was going for. See, because what I'm thinking is if I can push myself off of that rock... Like, that'll put me in the place where I really want to be. But... Maybe... Maybe that rock is really just there to get in my way. I don't know. It's so interesting how. <clears throat> God damn it! I was gonna say it's so interesting how, depending on exactly how your hammer hits a thing, like sometimes you'll. I think that's it. 
I think that's my limit. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this game on stream or not. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this game at all or not. Um, okay, I'm going to give getting back up there one more try. Down in the jail on my knees. I'm down in the jail on my knees. If I can get back up to the area I was in before, pretty easily. If I if I can, then I'll keep going. If I <clears throat> yep, I'm done. I'm... I'm done. Uh, so this has been... Getting over it. With Ben and Fadi. Uh, I kind of hate it. Um... But it's also kind of amazing and beautiful. Um, I may play more of it. I may not. Why did I do that? I know that doesn't work. I think it, I think it kind of, like it kind of tricks you. Look how wiggly that hammer is. The game kind of tricks you, right? You do these two things where you kind of swing yourself in the same way. And it kind of makes you think you should do it again. But, of course, you can't. If you try to get over the house that way, you just... Wow, oh, okay. Maybe I'm not done yet. Okay, put myself down. Like he said, I've done this part before. I'll just do what I did last time. I really want to, like, precisely set myself. No, not like that, though. Definitely not like that, though. Come on, dude. Move your goddamn cauldron. I hate you. I hate you so much right now. <sighs> this guy's the worst. He's, he's just the worst. Why are you in this fucking pot? Get the fuck out of there, man. Where's your legs? Oh boy. Oh boy. What are you doing in that pot? Why don't you, why don't you use legs? Do you not have legs? But why is there water in that pot? <clears throat> I mean, they were joking on the Polygon um, video that it's, you know, clearly it's like pee in the pot. But you can see it slosh out and it's blue, so I don't think that can be it. Which also means it's not, like, like, you know, I joked that it's soup, but, like, Whoop. soup isn't usually just clear liquid, so. I guess it's his bath, maybe? It's, this is his very tiny, uncomfortable bathtub? You're the worst. 
pot man. Alright, let's give this another shot. Oh, oh <clears throat> damn it! That's what I mean. Sometimes you catch the spot, but like you're moving so fast that it actually makes you bounce off rather than. What? Whereas if you if you latch on nice and slow, um, like this hammer at, like has amazing gripping power. What? It's like fucking magic. But. What? <clears throat> and then you move just. You move your mouse just slightly too fast. I think it's a good thing I did not raise the mouse sensitivity. No. <clears throat> and I like how the man doesn't normally say anything, but sometimes he just goes, no. push to make my movements as forceful as this. Uh. Hey, there's that coffee cup. <laughs> the soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. <sighs> oh boy. Um... Once again, I feel like like there's this part of me that's like, oh, I want to quit now because I fell all the way back down to that spot. But then there's this part of me that's like, well, I can't, I can't quit at like one of the earliest spots. I've got, I've got to get a bit farther than that at least. The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. What? C.S. Lewis. The fuck are you... See, that's, that's a... What the fuck are you talking about, C.S. Lewis? That's crazy. That's some nonsense. It's a nonsense quote. Um, all right. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, I'm calling it done. Um, so yeah, yeah, uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. If this looks fun to you, um, I guess, uh, get this game and have fun. Um, I... I'm kind of having fun, <laughs> but not the kind of fun I want to have anymore tonight, I don't think. I'm done with frustrating fun at the moment. Whoop. Um, but yeah, uh, difficult, frustrating, um, kind of, kind of beautiful, kind of, kind of amazing. Um... Like I said, the I feel within me a peace above all earthly oh dignities, a still and quiet conscience. William Shakespeare. 
Um, like, some of the moves you can do in this. Like, when they go right, they just, oh, they're so good. It looks so good. It, I, you've, I, I feel, like, fucking, like, graceful and shit when it, when it goes good. And then you make one tiny wrong move. Um... Where you started. And it is painful indeed. I don't know why this part is causing me such trouble. that I have now said that I was planning on quitting twice. So I'm going to actually do it now. It's been a little under an hour. Um, but no one's currently watching anyway. I don't think anyone has watched this whole time. And that's fine. I don't mind. Um, but for anyone who, who uh, possibly watches this in the future, uh, thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, this isn't really the type of game I plan on doing most on my channel. I'm planning on doing a lot more, like, narrative games. But this game just came out, and, um, even though, like, if I was thinking about it, I'd, I'd realize that, like, oh, this is going to be a game I'm going to be terrible at. Um, I was real excited to play it, to try it out, and boy... Look at the way his hands move when he does this. That's not... That's not... That's not how hands work. That's not how an arm works, I don't think. I don't think arm works that way. <laughs> um... Yeah, so, um, at the bottom of my channel there, I have... Um, a list of some games I'm thinking of playing. Uh, soon. Um... At the moment, oh, at the moment, I'm thinking of possibly Creepy Castle, but I also very recently picked up the Lucius remake on sale, so I might try that out soon. And that's not on my list, but um, uh, but yeah, um, uh, anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Probably not from a pot with a hammer. Um, ever again. Maybe. I don't... God, I really don't know. Just don't know how I feel. And I assume if anyone ever does, uh, decide to watch me play this in the future, like, they won't want to just see me fail at the same thing over and over again, right? So... <laughs> this is probably not a great game for me to stream too much. Um, but, like, it's the kind of thing where I guess I might be concerned, like, oh, like, of course, if I play off stream, like, then I'll probably, you know, do something fucking amazing. Um, so, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll play it again after, like, getting back as far as I've been before. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll immediately quit once I chuck myself all the way back down to the beginning. God, this spot, I just don't know. Hey, there we go. Okay, maybe I'm not done yet, again. I know I've, I've said that a bunch, but now that I'm back up here again... I kinda gotta give it another shot. Oh god! No, 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 no. We're gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right here. Um, hanging out with these barrels, my barrel friends. Um, I'm gonna call it, quit. Call it quits.